We are at the new Vance Outdoors here at Cincinnati, Ohio. Just opened today. Let's go on in and see what they got. Well, as soon as you walk into the Vance, you got a couple of awesome elk staring you right in the face. And then you walk right into the fishing section. And it's really impressive fishing section. They got rods, reels, all kinds of local stuff too. Uh, starting off, we've got the new Crush City. You guys have seen Jacob Wheeler repping this stuff. And of course, the crappie master, Bobby Garland, is in the house here at Vance. Booyah with their epic Booyah buzz baits. And you've, of course, got the classies. you got Heaton. You have Rebel, all the topwater Booyah frogs. And of course, the number one crankbait in the world, the Bandit. All the major players are in the house. Striking, Bandit, Booyah, great jig section. One of the things I really appreciate about Vance Outdoors is that they've got great local baits too. We found an entire end cap full of big Joshi baits and Phoebe helped me pick out some winners. And Vance has got the brand new stuff that just hit the market. They got an end cap of the Great Lakes finesse baits. Uh, from crappy diapers to crappy baits, Phoebe loves Bobby Garland. She's gonna pick me out her favorite color, which is chartreuse. Is that the winner? Is that the winner? That's the winner. <laughs> they got a pretty decent terminal tackle section and of course, the classic, yum dingers. We got our favorite color here and we, uh, we let Phoebe check some of these out. They got a full lineup of the classic Yamamoto's. They've even got Venom and some Blue Rock Baits. Crush City has got a couple of end caps full of crawls, paddle tails, and all kinds of trailers. And of course, the gigantic Yum section is in full effect. And Nico has got their own little end cap. The newest fishing store. Yes, it's the Bass Pro Shop here in Cincinnati. Let's go in and check it out. Well, it seems like every time you enter a Bass Pro Shop, you're entering, there's just an awesome museum of cool taxidermy and displays. Even up in the ceiling, they've got a guy hanging from a rope ladder surrounded by a mountain lion and a bear, which is pretty cool. As you come into the fishing section is honestly one of the biggest fishing sections I have ever seen. Everything from equipment to lures to rods and reels to fly tying accessories, they literally have everything in this section. One of the things I love about Bass Pro in general is that they group things by style of lure instead of just by brand names. I found the single greatest pair of boots I may ever own. Check these out.
That is the Bass Pro Shops here in Cincinnati. We're gonna head back to the house and show you guys all the cool stuff we got from here and Bands Off Tours. Let's go. So as promised, I wanna go over some of the stuff that I found at two of these new stores and uh, well, new to me anyway. Uh, the first thing was these corkers, hiking boots. And yes, they are already dirty and muddy because I broke them in pretty well. Um, one of the most interesting things I found uh, about these boots, um, which kind of separate them from maybe a lower end boot, is that the soles are not just built in um, felt bottoms. You can actually switch these out. They have got uh, three clips on each side, plus they buckle into the back of the boot and you can un unclip this entire base and you can switch out for a regular rubber sole, which I thought was very, very cool and interesting. And you can even, uh, there's even another sole you can switch out if you wanted to put in studs, which I don't think I'll ever use in my conditions, but I thought this was a really awesome boot. For 140 bucks, they are super lightweight, they are comfortable, and they came in size 15, which was impressive. So I can't wait to get these out more in the water as we get uh, into the wading season. Now, speaking of corkers, they also uh, make these neoprene uh, wading socks. And this is great because it'll allow me not to get gravel in my socks. And it just basically is a foot protector. It keeps your feet a little bit more dry. Um, and you can put socks, I usually wear socks under this uh, just for comfort, and then put the neoprene socks on, and then you put them uh, on just under, underneath your boot, and then this basically rolls down and protects. It's almost like a gravel guard for your boot. So this is uh, for when we get into the summertime and wet wading season. I think these will be really good for uh, just, you know, keeping my feet dry, keeping my feet conditioned because, you know, constantly getting your feet wet, it really affects the bottom of your feet and you get the crusty skin, skin peels. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just good overall to keep the funk off of your uh, feet and uh, keep your socks clean. Now, some of the lures we picked up, <sighs> sadly, the coal shad, I already lost. It was, and actually, I lost it in a tournament. Uh, I, I don't know if I knocked it out of my boat or what happened, but the entire rod, reel, and combo that had my coal shad is gone. So we, uh, we went back and we didn't spend quite as much and uh, we got the XPS um, swim bait. And this is in the color shad. I think this is uh, one of those also a pre-rigged. Uh, it's got the treble hook down in the belly. And then you guys saw the Nessie 5 from Berkeley. Um, this is a nice little gliding bait. Uh, super, super awesome, uh, natural looking action. I took this out and threw it around for just a little bit just to test out the action. I'm pretty impressed with this. I think this is gonna catch up some nice smallies. And then uh, lastly, you guys saw me uh, pick up some of these snakeskin foam. I think this is gonna make a very interesting pattern for some poppers. That's a really cool snakeskin. And uh, yeah, if you're in the Cincinnati area, I encourage you guys to go out and check out the brand new Vans Outdoors near the Tri-County Mall, and then hop over to Tylersville and check out the brand new Bass Pro Shop. It is much bigger than the last one we had, and it's just filled with more niche and unique stuff. The camping section is awesome. They get a section with like mountain bikes, e-bikes. They got a whole giant section of just sunglasses and probably the biggest fish fishing section in a sporting goods store that I've ever seen. So check those out. Uh, awesome two new stores in the Cincinnati area. Uh, I'm sure we'll be visiting them plenty of times over this next course of the year just to pick up some new cool stuff. And uh, oh, I almost forgot. They started carrying Great Lakes Finesse and Great Lakes Finesse is new to the LureNet Pradco team. It's powered by Yum, and this is the Snack Crawl. And so I picked up a couple extra of these Snack Crawls. But that's it for those great two stores. Make sure you leave a comment, a like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the water this season on Matt's Fishing Mission. Watching Matt's fishing mission. Always be on mission.